So I'm a few minutes late. This is my polling place. I was trying to vote early, but I couldn't find it. Despite the administration's propaganda that their response should be a cause for celebration, despite President Trump's request that we should slow down testing because he thinks it makes him look bad, the COVID-19 is still here, and the daily threat to American health and prosperity is continuing. It didn't have to be this way. Month after month, as other leaders in other countries took the necessary steps to get the virus under control, Donald Trump failed us. Month after month, as many of us urged him to step up and do his job, he failed us. What happened? Now it's almost July, and it seems like our wartime president has surrendered, waved the right flag, white flag, and left the battlefield. Today, we're facing a serious threat, and we have to meet it. We have to meet it as one country. But the president gives no direction, and he pits us against one another. We can't continue like this, half recovering and half getting worse. We can't continue half wearing masks and half rejecting science. We can't continue half with a plan and half just hoping for the best. We absolutely need a clear message from the very top of our federal government that everyone needs to wear a mask in public, period, period. Wear a mask. It's not just about you. It's about your family. It's about your, it's about your neighbors. It's about your colleagues. It's about keeping other people safe. It helps you, yes, but it's about keeping other people safe. It's a simple measure. There's also one of the most effective ways we can do the right thing. It may be inconvenient. It may be uncomfortable. But it's the right thing to do as an American.